the smack of ball against leather, that pop in the palm of your hand, playing catch, throwing catch, having a catch, no matter how you say it, the experience of catch is all about having a connection. All right. Thanks for today. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Especially when a catch is shared between father and child, like it was whenever Dan Bryan had a catch with his son, Ethan. He was a smart kid, uh, not only academically, but in baseball knowledge. He just had a love for it. That was his childhood. That was, that's what he did. He knew he was starting to come together as a baseball player. He hit for average, hit for doubles, singles, and consistent, consistent. Ethan Bryan and Tyson Price were inseparable. At home, at school, on the field, or in Ethan's car, shuttling from one of those places to the other. Wednesday, September 16th, 2020, was no different. We're going down the road, and I'm looking down on my phone, and I'm picking out a song, and next thing you know, I kind of hear him say something, and I look up, and it just kind of happened. Ethan swerved to avoid a slowing vehicle in front of them, clipping the rear of that car and running head on into an oncoming truck. First responders arrived in minutes. They called Ethan's mother, Jacqueline, who called Dan. They covered him with a sheet. I lost it. I, uh, I fell to the highway. And, uh, I was just in shock. I didn't know what to do. Ethan Bryan was declared dead on the scene. He was 16 years old. Among the items recovered from the accident were Ethan's glove and a baseball. Days later, Dan threw out the first pitch for the team's first game without his son. Afterward, he found a gift delivered by the school principal and tucked under Ethan's glove. I see a book, and the title of that book was A Year of Playing Catch. And the author's name was Ethan D. Bryan. And, you know, my Ethan was Ethan C. Bryan. I, I couldn't believe it. The memoir about the healing powers of playing catch for 365 straight days was published on September 8th, 2020, one week before Ethan C. Bryant's accident. I was really excited and I'd had some reviews. I had remembered reading one and I couldn't remember where it was. And the only way I could think how to get to it was to Google my name. And the first thing that pops up is a obituary for Ethan Bryan. I was like, oh my gosh, this is awful. I found his high school, signed a book, sent it. Didn't know if I was ready for what I was going to read. It took more than a year, but Dan was finally ready. He says he didn't merely read the book. He devoured it. It inspired him. So he turned to social media in hopes of finding partners to play catch. The result was life-changing. Art Holmes, catch number 100. George Martinelli, catch number 122. Alexis Cruz, catch 162. I had no idea that this many people would really be interested in it and engage and want to play catch. A little different throwing baseball? Yeah. Maybe you'll have to show me how to throw a softball. OK. I hear it popping. Yeah. Not the glove, my arm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a journey. And how could I not smile about that? People were bringing their stories with them. They were bringing their glove and they're bringing their story. I can't imagine what some of your days are like. To miss catch, I understand 100%. Dan always uses Ethan's glove and the same baseball, the ones recovered from the accident scene. Ready? He has tossed that ball with individuals and entire sports teams, even total strangers while on vacation. I noticed this gentleman walking toward us carrying baseball mat. My name's Dan Bryan. 
I'm out today uh, to ask you to join me for a catch to honor my son. I said, yeah, unfortunately, you know, you and I are members of a club that uh, no parent really should be a member of. And it kind of caught his attention. I said, we lost our daughter back in 2017 at the age of 17 due to a car accident. I said, I can't believe what you just told me. Just knowing that there's other people out there, knowing that uh, you've lost a very significant part of your life. He's helping me as much as I helped him by playing catch. A game of catch can happen anywhere, and they have. From ballparks, to parking lots, to classrooms. They all count in the march to 365 games played. But the best places are the ones that feel closest to Ethan. Ethan's cousin wanted to be graveside with Ethan. If that's where she wants it, we'll do it. The night before. Yeah. He texted me and he said, can I ask for your advice? I was asleep. Oh. I didn't get to answer him before. I beat myself up about it every single day. I just want to know what he was going to say, because I guarantee it was about girls. It was girls. It was so special to me, that, that whole moment and talking to Dan and being able to just sit there and, and do this for Ethan together. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. I have cried more since September 16th of 2020 than I ever have in my life. I thought being vulnerable was a sign of weakness, I guess, but I found it's not a weakness. Matter of fact, it feels pretty good. Ethan would be proud. He'd say, look who you're helping. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.